Got my trail mix and my view. Good morning, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you something really fun. We are gonna take a walking tour of San Francisco. The thing that excites me about this particular walking tour is that, well, first of all, I made it up myself. Basically, last night, I was like, I wanna go to San Francisco. I don't know why, I just had it in me. And so I looked up San Francisco walking tour map and the walking tour that was suggested was awful. It was like all my least favorite places in San Francisco. For those of you who are not interested in things like Fisherman's Wharf, Union Square, the cable cars, maybe you've already seen that stuff, or you just don't really like the touristy stuff. Plus, this walking tour happens to be, minus transportation, completely free. I'm not gonna go anywhere that requires an entrance fee, and I'm actually going to show you a few hidden gems that a lot of people don't actually know about in San Francisco. So let me back up just a second and show you how I got here. So now I'm gonna transfer over to Muni. So there's BART, Muni, Muni's downtown, BART is like all over the bay. BART is a lot easier for tourists. Muni, you kinda have to pay closer attention to your stops, I'll show you. So this direction is inbound, that's not what we want. That goes further into the city. We want the outbound side. We're looking for the N train. It's gonna be about nine minutes. That used to be my life. I used to take Muni like every day. If you guys don't know, I lived in San Francisco for about three years. We're gonna hop on the N train towards Ocean Beach. On Muni, they don't always announce the stop, so you just have to kind of pay attention. Look at the map, and then you can always pull up Google Maps on your phone too and track where you are. And if it's not very busy on the train, you may have to pull that wire in order for them to actually stop. So now I'm walking up 16th Avenue um, from 16th and Judah. That's back there. It's a little bit of a hill, but it's okay. There's gonna be a lot of hills today. I brought my own food, and I'm actually gonna be picnicking for lunch today in a pretty location. So let's go to the first stop. So our first stop is the Hidden Garden Steps. This is a volunteer-driven, community-based project. Basically, this was created by the community for the community, which is pretty freaking awesome. I made it just in time for the earthquake alarm. Do you guys hear that? Basically that is like a siren thing that happens every Tuesday at noon. Perfect time. Now it's time to walk up all these stairs and go see the good view and our next stop. This is the California State Flower. That's a California poppy. Oh my God, it keeps going. Whoa, this is so cool. There's a little succulent garden. That's very California. So I used to live in Park Merced, which is like in the southwest corner of San Francisco. And it's really close to the ocean, which is great, but it's right on what they call the fog line. Extremely humid. Like we had mold growing out of our walls, but the succulents were very happy there. That is Sutro Tower. And that actually is Eric's favorite tower because on a normal San Francisco day, when there's fog, the tower is like poking out the top of the fog because the way it hits the Twin Peaks and he just loves how like mysterious it looks. Catching glimpses of the ocean. Do you guys see the blue? All right guys, now we are at the 16th Avenue Mosaic Steps. But um, I've actually been wanting to come here for a long time because it always tops the list of like San Francisco's hidden gems. I've never been here before. But it's funny because we used to live like not very far that way. If you're wondering why we didn't move back to San Francisco when we came back to the Bay Area, cost of living. <laughs> Our apartment was like $2,000 when we were renting it like per month. And when we came back, it was like $3,000 a month, so. That didn't happen. So we moved to Hayward. So this one's a bit different. It's not like an underwater theme, which is pretty cool. And then there's a sun at the top. The lighting makes it really hard to tell, but it's totally like sparkly and reflection-y. Reflective, there's a word. This one's really cool, they're both different. I definitely suggest going to both. However, I, as I keep looking behind me, I now understand why the 16th Avenue mosaic tiled steps are more highly rated. It's because of the view. So that is the ocean. Um, and then we've got this beautiful view of Golden Gate Park. That's all that like green strip in between. We're gonna be going there today too. Then the Presidio and then the mountains, uh, Mount Temple, Pice, I think it's called, up in Marin County. We seriously got lucky today. We can even see the Golden Gate Bridge. Usually it's foggy in San Francisco, but this is cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go up these boring steps to get to the top. <laughs> Any stuff that doesn't have mosaics is now officially boring. More steps. <laughs> All right, guys, we've arrived at our picnic spot. Wow, this is crazy. I'm 
mean? give you a quick tour. That's downtown. The tallest building is now the Salesforce building. That pointy one is Transamerica Pyramid. There's Coit Tower. Angel Island. Well, that's the Golden Gate Bridge, of course. This is Golden Gate Park, that big green patch in the middle. It's the Presidio, that other green patch right there. This is the sunset, so that would be the outer sunset, and this is the inner sunset. This is part of Twin Peaks right here. That's the Pacific Ocean. Isn't she beautiful? This is part of the budget guide to San Francisco, y'all. Bring your own food. Got my trail mix and my view. Gotta say, that's the best picnic I've had in a long time. That was great. Right now, I'm actually walking to Judah and Funston, and I'm going back to the exact same train that we were on. So it's that end train, still going the same direction, outbound. I'm taking it from Judah and Funston, and I took it to 40th. Um, and one fun thing to know about the Sunset area is that there is totally like another, it's like a little Chinatown inside Sunset. Like on the other side of 19th in Outer Sunset, um, there's tons of Chinese shops. Like I saw acupuncture, Chinese medicine, Chinese markets. There's definitely some stuff out here. Also, some of the best Xiaolongbao I've ever had in my life was actually in San Francisco. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm walking north on 40th towards Golden Gate Park. I need to take a left, take a right on 41st, go up Chain of Lakes Drive, and a right on JFK. Go check out the link below to go see the blog post that gives you much more specific directions. And I'm gonna do like a printable PDF kind of version of this walking guide. Also, I totally saw someone walking a pot bellied pig earlier, like on a leash. That was pretty magical. <laughs> oh my God, this is the park where Eric and I had our like first look on our wedding day. Crazy, we have so many memories in San Francisco from living here for three years and we got married here. The next spot, cannot wait to tell you guys, the San Francisco has bison. I am right across the street from the bison paddock. I'm crossing my fingers that they'll be out. There they are. Is that one poopy? It kind of smells like poop. That one's sleeping. There's four of them. But yeah, they like literally live here in Golden Gate Park. How crazy is that? There's another one. There's definitely plenty of hawk around here too. I can hear them like like it sounds fake but they're definitely real oh i see another one so there's minimum six bison here that's insane even though my instinct is to stand here and stare at the buffalo all day or bison excuse me i have more to show you and that starts with the bathroom which is extremely difficult to find in san francisco like a free public bathroom it's so hard to find i don't know why i was like so impressed when i went to china with how many public restrooms there were because san francisco sets the bar pretty freaking low <laughs> so if you walk right across the street from the bison paddock there are casting pools basically it's this huge pool where people who live in the city can practice their fly fishing <laughs> i'm not gonna go fly fishing i am gonna go to the bathroom which is up this path oh yeah and if you walk out to your right there are stables. Now I'm on probably the longest walk of the day. I'm gonna go. You guys hear that hawk sound? That's crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna be walking along John F. Kennedy Boulevard for quite a while, and uh, we are gonna go to Stowe Lake. One of the bison is actually like out and about grazing. Yeah, so we're at the bison paddock, and I'm gonna take JFK Boulevard or Drive all the way through here, all the way to here to Stowe Lake. This is a 1.3 mile walk, so if you are not on a crazy budget and you wanna save your feet for the rest of San Francisco, I would suggest catching a cab that drives by or like getting an Uber or a Lyft or something. But yeah, I'm gonna walk it because I don't wanna pay for that. <laughs> I'm across the street right now from Speckles Lake. There is a lot of like toy boating that happens here. Like people have like replicas of old boats and stuff and they have a remote or whatever. I don't know. For some reason, this is a popular spot to do that. And there are about a trillion birds. So if you like birds. This beautiful open green area is Lindley Meadow. If you are familiar with the music festival Outside Lands, that is actually held in Golden Gate Park. And this is where one of the like side stages is. The main stage is over on the Polo Fields area, which is just up there. When it's not Outside Lands, it's actually a really popular spot to do like big parties with friends. So during the summertime, this is full of people with like kegs. Yes, people bring freaking kegs out here. I'm positive it's 
it's not actually allowed, but people do it. I've seen bouncing castles out here for kids parties. Like it gets wild out here in the summer. It's really, really fun. So this is Mark's Meadow across the street from me. I just wanna let you guys know, there's actually a disc golf course here. I heard it's a really good one too. Down there is Hellman's Hollow. Basically, if you wanna do like a picnic or sit down and relax, read a book, spread out a blanket, take a nap in the sun, there are about a thousand places to do that in this park. This is Lloyd Lake. It's just a quiet little lake with a loop trail type thing around it. It's very small. Um, and then it's got this really funny feature right here. I really don't know what that is to be quite honest. Will you stop? This is the entrance. <laughs> I love this. That is so cool. So this is Stowe Lake. Jackie! So honestly, I've never heard anything about Strawberry Hill, which is what's behind me. I've never really heard much about Stowe Lake. I kind of just saw it on the map and went for it. I can see that there's some kind of like falls thing on this hill and it's like a hill in the middle of the lake, which I find interesting. So I thought, let's go check it out. I don't really want to climb the hill if I'm being honest with you. So I think I'm just going to go kind of run the edge. Are these the falls? I think maybe these used to be the falls and they're just not running right now. Yeah, those are definitely the falls that aren't falling currently, but you guys are gonna laugh. There's a Chinese pavilion here. So I just read this and apparently Taipei and San Francisco are sister cities. I had no idea. We are now finally heading into the much more touristy area of Golden Gate Park. I want to end this walking tour on a really weird note because it's kind of the nature of this walking tour, you know? It's off the beaten path, a little weird. Across the street from me is the entrance to the San Francisco Botanical Gardens. This is the entrance to the Japanese Tea Garden. It looks pretty freaking cool in there. I think uh, I've got my fill of Japanese gardens in the last few weeks here. If you want to watch a vlog of me walking around, the first one ever in California, link up above. You can rent a bike or even do a Segway tour down there. This is the De Young Art Museum. I've heard really good things about it. I've never been in. There's this thing. What I actually came here to see and show off as the weird last stop of of our tour is this giant safety pin. But um, due to the fact that there is someone guarding over here, I'm gonna guess you have to pay to get in there. So never mind. And then over here, you've got the California Academy of Sciences. And I'm zooming in a lot so you can see that rooftop. But yeah, I've only heard amazing things about that museum. And of course, there's this sweet fountain over here. Basically, if you have the money on going in one of these places, go for it. I've heard great things about them. If you don't and you're just passing through just to kind of see, it's still pretty fun to walk around and look at the crazy like sculptures and stuff. There's a lot of stuff around here, paid and free. But after that walking tour I just directed you on, you're gonna feel like you just got back into civilization when you get into this part of Golden Gate Park. So sadly, this is where my walking tour ends, but I'm going to be making a video in the next few months um, of my personal guide to Hate Street. And so that'll kind of continue from where this walking tour left off. You can either end your walking tour now, you could go to one of these awesome museums. If at this point you are just dying to sit down and have some good food and rest your feet, maybe have a really good beer, I would definitely suggest going to Hate Street and checking out somewhere along there. Magnolia is really good for beer, not the best for food like their food's good but it's kind of expensive why am i giving you all my hate street secrets you have to wait for the hate street guide anyways thank you for following me along i'm currently walking out of golden gate park towards lincoln avenue and then up another street towards judah avenue and that's where i'm going to catch that end train again for somewhere to eat Nopalito is incredible it's actually an offshoot of a restaurant called nopa that's like our favorite in san francisco i gotta say i was not expecting that view to be that good um, from the Mosaic 16th Avenue, whatever we just saw. Tomorrow I'm gonna just do like a day in my life video. Oh my God, I've been talking for five minutes. I need to go. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs>